Yes, people. Another authentic wood story. This one's a gel thing. Um, maybe eight years ago, seven years ago, something like that. I'm in Long Larton. Sticky. And I'm trying to put something on my edge. You get it? Normal. Anyway, some back and forth things going on. Nothing major, but yeah. Snaky things going on. Boom. Tommy Pitt must have come to the block. Manchester's Tommy Pitt. Pitbull gang. Torious killer. Uh, me and my allies in it, we get on in it. So we reason it. Anyway, he was around chaos. Yeah, in a previous jail, I think it's Whitemore. And he's making me know, like, he's telling me, like, yo, Chaos is manipulating all the brothers, all the Muslims. He's manipulating them. Do you get it? Because, um, basically, True Chaos is one of the top Muslims. And he's the top man in that particular jail at that time, as a brother. He's telling that all the brothers, no one can't shop food. That's our arm. Nothing to do with drugs. We don't play that game. We keep it clean. Do you get it? So none of the brothers are allowed to make any money from drugs. And that's how a man usually stack paper in jail. You can shot a little weed or shot a little loud or sniff or whatever. But where you're, you're, un you're under this Muslim umbrella, you can't shot nothing. However, chaos is getting bare food in. So Pitt's telling me about a time where bare Zeds come. And Chaos is chopping up the Zeds and making, sending it to different wings and the man having moving the food and he's mashing bare paper, then coming out on the landing and saying, no food shot in. No drugs around. We're only. Mashallah. Oh, that's going on. Do you get it? So he's told me that story now. Anyway, some brothers come out, some Asian brother must have come on the yard. And we're arguing, innit? Yeah, because he's arguing, he's defending chaos, isn't it? I'm saying, listen, not only is my man a snitch, he's manipulating all of you. Pit, tell him what I won. <laughs> Fuck, he's still, I shouldn't have done that, you get me? Pit's like, what? My man's like, what? I said, listen, Pit, just tell him what you just told me, innit? I kind of threw him under the bus, you get me? I regret that still, I shouldn't have done that. But, man was frustrated, you get it? Anyway, Pitt didn't want to say in it. You get me? I said. Which um, could have put him in a compromising position, do you get it? As Chaos is one of the hierarchy within the Muslim fold behind the wall, and Pitt's a Muslim as well. Do, do you get it? Um, I didn't really have no, I wasn't really watching that. It was straight, selfish motive, do you get it? Um, then a few years down the line, I think, where was it? Gartry. Just before I left, I got moved on to the pipe wing where Pitt was. Did you get it? Me and him was reasoning when he saw and we're talking and he, he making me know, like, yo, I didn't like that. I was fucked up. Did you get it? You could have put me in a position where the man them tried to chop me up. Did you get it? Out number. All of that, you get. But it's, that's when I took it on board. Like, right, you know what? It's a fuck we move. My bad kind of thing, you get. Um, but Pitt being Pitt, he turned that into a, um, a situation where he could benefit from it. I didn't mind, because he, it basically, he, when I was leaving, in it. And obviously, my man wants the my man wants the arm, the, the, the rare rare. You get it? So my man's like, "Yo, left the rare rare with me." You get me? Um, leave leave a good memory in my mind, because for the last few years I had a bad memory. You get it? You throw me under the bus, kind of thing. And then what happened? I feel he wanted the rare rare, and I think I wanted a rack for it. Yeah, that was it. I wanted a rack for it. 
he was supposed to put five and my next brother's supposed to put five who he's going arps with but there was some lele whatever so I just told my man look I just run it on pitch you get me the old lap um I think, I, I think Albie gave it to me for free or for half price it definitely wasn't full price I think it might have been for free um but it might have been for half price still but yeah all politics in the jail and it's, it, it's crazy because that's what happened basically enough of the youths who come into the system now um, like look you see bare man on the road now who was in jail doing big birds Muslim hats on beads you don't see them nowhere without their beads brushing their teeth with yeah on the road they're not on none of that do you get it enough man was using the Deen and Islam as a shield. You understand? And the youth that we come into the system, they get manipulated now. So they come in, but a drop on a the wing, there's like 120 men on a wing, and 110 of them are Muslim. And they're Muslim, so they join. Now you're under the. But you've just come in, bro. So you. The, you you're not even, when it comes to the pecking order, you're not even considered to get it. And then when that man says, you know what, eh, what now, for the Dean, mash up my man, because he done X, Y, and Z, you got to go and mash him up. Because you're Muslim, you got, yeah, you're only free at Allah, yeah, you're all about the cause, and the cause right now is my man's violated the Dean, mash him up. You can't say no. And that's what happens. You understand? Yes, political. And the man who's running the thing, like chaos, is eating their paper, watching the man and run around like eagles. Yeah. Manipulation being dressed up as love. But anyway, we're going to this another time. Star Music, it's the greatest thing since Family Affairs, since Coronation Street, just selling myself. Love actually, gives a job with this dude. Uh, sorry to sell myself on yourself. <laughs> right boys, good luck with it all. Star Music Limited. Yeah. Star Music Limited.